Korea's once fourth largest shipyard is set to go under court led restructuring scheme. Main creditors of STX Offshore and Shipbuilding declared today that they're done trying to revive the ailing company. As our Bruce Harrison reports, this could be the first of many such actions by other creditors in the shipbuilding industry, which is suffering from heavy debt following a years long slump. One of Korea's biggest shipyards, STX Offshore and Shipbuilding Company, is likely to go bankrupt by the end of May as creditors decided to end their years long efforts to revamp the slumping shipping and shipbuilding industry. The ailing company's main creditors, led by state run Korea Development Bank, or KDB, said Wednesday they reached a consensus to place the shipyard under a court led restructuring this month. KDB dismissed the possibility of providing additional financial support, saying it would put the creditors at great risks of exposure as it's nearly impossible for the company to repay its debt. KDB estimates STX shipbuilding, once the country's fourth largest shipyard, would need around 592 million to up to 1 billion U.S. dollars to avoid bankruptcy, and that's considering the shipyard could finish its remaining orders by next year. Main creditors have also referred to past unsuccessful attempts to resuscitate STX shipbuilding. Despite receiving around $3.4 billion of aid from its creditors for more than three years since 2013, the company couldn't avoid recording operating losses of hundreds of millions of dollars a year. The creditors' latest move could send a ripple effect to the rest of the country's ailing shipbuilding industry. The amount of bank loans lent to shipbuilders is estimated to have reached $59.2 billion, with nearly 80 percent of them coming from the country's top three shipyards, namely Hyundai Heavy Industries, Samsung Heavy Industries, and Daewoo Shipbuilding and Marine Engineering. Bruce Harrison, Arirang News.